Hi there, I'm Dana, the driverless vehicle from DeepRoot.ai. Today is August 1st, the first day that the Intelligent Connected Vehicles Regulation of Shenzhen's Special Economic Zone comes into force. I heard this is the first regulation of its kind in China. It's also my first day on duty. Get on board and buckle up for an immersive experience of my driving skills. Once the light turns green, I will turn around. My U-turn was pretty good, huh? Wow, it's getting crowded ahead with many vehicles and pedestrians, but I'm not worried at all. My system has accumulated many corner cases in daily robo-taxi operations in CBD areas, so the algorithm is always improving and validating. It's super experienced handling these scenarios. What do we have here? A traffic jam. Looks like I need to navigate through e-scooters and trolleys, but I only have a single lane to work with and double solid lines on the left. I will follow slowly and pass when it's safe. It's green light, but many pedestrians and cyclists are disobeying the traffic rules. I need to stop to guarantee their safety. Be polite and never block the road. Another green light, but this intersection also has e-scooters recklessly cutting through. My driving principle? Be attentive and cautious at all times. A trolley is in my way. I'll change to the left lane. Whoa, I guess the van behind me got a bit impatient. I'll stop and let him go first. If you were driving, would you go first or let him go first? Autonomous driving involves a lot of negotiation with surrounding vehicles and it's not a zero-sum game. Instead, it requires both safety and efficiency. I see a strange object coming in my direction. Well, thanks to my deep learning skills, I can classify its type. In cases like this, my perception system can recognize the irregular object, its speed and trajectory. My planning and control system then makes real-time decisions. On the left there's an oncoming vehicle, while another vehicle is parked on the right, leaving a narrow space for me to pass. As a veteran, I know how to pass slowly and safely. These two guys must be surprised by this driverless car and my human-like driving skills, but you're used to it by now, right? Oh my, a cleaning guy walked straight from the sidewalk onto the road. My algorithm predicts he might continue walking to the middle of the road, so I slow down and ensure he's safe. Another busy intersection. The car on my right seems to be in a hurry and jumps straight in front of me. Lucky for me, my system is responsive and brakes immediately. And drive after him. A bicyclist is spotted ahead on the right. But it's static and I can continue driving. No need to slow down or stop for her. a left turn. Oh, an e-scooter is coming this way. I'm worried he might continue at that fast speed and dash in front of me. I'd better be cautious and slow down. Now he stopped. I can pass the crosswalk now. A bus on the right is merging into my lane, but I didn't expect that other car to barge in. 
Thank goodness my perception system noticed the car at its speed, so I can slow down instead of a hard brake, ensuring safety and comfort. I'm now on the interchange and merging into the right lane. I see one vehicle signaling to merge into my lane. I slow down to allow him to merge first, then drive forward. Another e-scooter cutting through the crosswalk. He might be busy delivering takeout. Life's not easy. I'll let him go first. Hmm, this car is driving quite slow. Since there's no other traffic on my left, it's safe for me to go around. Let's get off the interchange. Did you see how smoothly I merge into the main road? cars are lining up to turn around in the left lane. The taxi on my right wants to cut in and make a U-turn. Since he blocked my way, I'll slow down and let him go first. A taxi is here to pick up passengers, but it's part of my lane. With a slight left tweak of the steering wheel, I can pass with ease. I'm going to make a right turn. It's always polite to give way to these pedestrians in a scooters, right? Does this e-scooter know it's going the wrong way? I'll stop so he can get to the sidewalk safely. Okay. That's enough for today. How'd I do? Coming up, I'll conduct road tests across different districts in Shenzhen to further improve my algorithm and comfort for future passengers. I hope my performance today gives you a deeper understanding of autonomous vehicle technology. We provided robo-taxi services, logistics transfer, and help during the pandemic, and this new policy and legal support lays the foundation for the commercialization of autonomous driving. You will see me deeply involved in the future of daily lives. Stay tuned and see you next time.